What's happening guys? Jason here. And uh, for the past couple of months now, I've been doing a whole lot of nothing but working on classic cars and all that sort of thing. And that got to thinking, well, what can I start doing with my classic cars a little more often here? I mean, everybody does the car shows and whatnot, but what I own is not exactly car show material. It's fun to go to them, but they're not winning any trophies. And, you know, got to thinking, y'all like the roadkill style stuff of going on a road trip and everything thousand miles in a classic but if you happen to notice on those they got a film crew following them and they've got uh that's basically their whole job so who can really afford to do that i can't so thought dawned on me i've seen many a back road that i ain't never been down and i've lived in this area for years and years and years and there's places there so i thought I get on Google here and look and see what's in my own backyard. Do you know what's in your own backyard? I don't. I got to looking around on Google Maps and happened to find a daiquiri shop right about seven, eight miles up the road over here. And I got to thinking, kind of warm outside. I could use a daiquiri. I, I don't know about y'all, but I could use a daiquiri. I mean, it's summertime. Why not go up there and grab a catfish basket and a quick daiquiri? And why take a brand new Challenger whenever we've got a whole heap of classics to choose from out there? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to head over there and we're going to take every back road in the county because you just don't see your backyard on the main highway. So for today's journey, we're going to pick our classic car of the day so we got a few options here of runners or three runners right now but really I only have one option because it's August whenever I decided to get this idea and uh, it's a little bit cloudy outside so convertibles out and I really want something with air conditioning so the best option I've got is the old 64 Thunderbird here alrighty uh, Come down here and give it exactly two pumps of sugar-free mocha. Three pumps. And she kicks right over. All right, fellas, we filled the tank with uh, eight gallons of liquid gold. For some reason here, uh, mid-grade and premium is $2 a gallon more than regular. So uh, we filled her up with the old 87 octane, which I ain't real happy about, but I ain't paying five dollars a gallon for premium whenever regular is 359. First stop is going to be down this little old back road. See this right here, this is where it starts at. Got slow for the children, 20 mile an hour. Ain't nobody up your butt in a hurry trying to get to a place they probably don't want to go anyway. Just cruise, and that's what these cars were meant to do. This is the Texas experience right here, the back roadage. We got a tractor heading on down. <laughs> now, this right here is precisely why we need rain. Chances of having this whole video wiped out. 
Challenger right now, I, the only thing I'd be worried about is hail. Flick my wipers on. No problems whatsoever. You got dash wipers over here. You got to flip a little lever to do it. Maybe they work. Maybe they don't. They work. I know they work. Woo-wee. That's a bump, a bump, a bump. That is one risk you run with back roads. Sometimes uh, you get a smooth one. Sometimes you don't. major road right here but we ain't gonna be on it long and yeah it's definitely a small country town whenever a two-lane blacktop is what I consider a major road up truck You 
see people on back roads like this, just don't be scared. Just give them a little wave. They'll usually wave back at you, especially if you're driving a cool old car. Now, what have we got here? Major Highway. Now we gotta get across this major highway. Because our destination is just on the other side. That's mm, 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 not in Texas, not in cowboy country. Back home safe and sound. It took 45 minutes to an hour out of my day to cruise a classic down, grab some lunch at a local place I didn't even know existed, had myself a pretty good time. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for today. This is a new series I'm testing. If you uh, like what you see and you want me to you know, drive around more back roads that I didn't know were there and find more hidden gem places around, Go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know. And uh, we'll see about doing some more. Because i got a lot of classics to choose from. There's a lot of stuff out there that needs exploring. So thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you enjoy these videos and you want to see more.